What's going on guys? It's your girl Drea and this is the Ass Intuition. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, I had to, I had to. So, yeah, I've been away for a little while. I had to, you know, take some time to do some inner work and just kind of take a step back and just align myself and then like after the lion's gate my energy completely shifted and now i feel good all right if you are new here though what's up hit that little subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up if this resonates and comment down below because i love to know <laughs> bars though all right let me stop but today as you already saw in the title it is what are you in denial about and I don't really know <laughs> what's gonna, I don't know what you're in denial about yet, clearly. But I don't really know what's gonna pop up. It could be anything, you know? So kind of just have an open mind and just take what resonates and leave what does not. Because at the end of the day, this is just to help you become, uh, <laughs> become aware of whatever it is that you haven't been seeing. Maybe you have had some clogged vision or you know maybe there's too much noise in your life and you haven't been paying attention to whatever this is that you're in denial about but i am here i'm here to help my intention with this is really to just you know bring your awareness to what you have been in denial about and then kind of like just see whatever guidance source wants you to know in regards to the situation and however it is that they can help you all right but let's get it we have four piles today this is pile number one this is pile number two this is pile number three and this is pile number four so as always take a minute to pause it if you need to and see what's good and um yeah i love you guys i hope that this helps you in whatever way that it can i'm sending you guys so much love and light and let's get this started okay all right bye What's up my pile number ones? It's your girl Dre and I'm back. It feels good to be back. I had to take some time and uh, now I'm here for you guys. So we are talking about what have you been in denial about, okay? And I don't know what's gonna come out. Um, we got some cards, okay? We got three significate to us that will help me to figure it out. And then we got your uh, you know, light work or oracle for the end at guidance and your um self care card, you know, because self care is uh necessary, all right. But if you are new here, hit that little subscribe button down below and hit the little bell so that you get notified every single time that I post and you can keep up with the you know, what I'm saying because I'm gonna post a little bit more, okay. And uh, oh, yeah, uh, give me a thumbs up if this resonates and comment down below and let me know what's good, okay. So, what are you in denial about? Let's find out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. All right. Life may be a little chaotic right now, and if it is, I'm sorry, but things will be changing for you soon. Okay? You just gotta be patient. So, first card. Smoke in mirrors. Wow. <laughs> Sheesh. So clearly, whatever it is, you do not know. You don't see it. Maybe it's you don't see what you need to look at within. Maybe there's things that are in that you have been kind of distracting yourself from. Maybe there's things that you do that you aren't really holding yourself accountable for. You aren't taking steps to transform because I do see butterflies, right? we have a six which is about balance so there's a need for you to look at yourself right you've been denying the fact that you need to take a step back and look at yourself and see what needs to change I feel like you've been blinded by the chaos because yeah what did I say earlier um, things have been whatever rocky shaky something like that I don't know why I said <laughs> but due to all the stuff and the commotion and the chaos around you you haven't been listening and seeing and feeling your emotions you haven't been paying attention to what you need to pay attention to maybe you've been too focused on everybody else and that's clouding your vision towards yourself towards yourself honey no i'm just all right let me stop i'm i'm not sorry okay i'm not sorry but you've been in denial of what you need to change 
pretty much. And you've been in denial of, at the fact that you have too much going on and that you need to kind of like make a decision on what you need to stay and what needs to go away because there's things that just... I'm drooling. There's things that you need to shed right now in order to become a better person. And you don't know what it is or maybe because of the fact that the, you need to like declutter your life, declutter your social media, declutter your friends, declutter your actual space. You know, there's a lot of things that you need to let go of. Maybe you need to declutter your mind. Maybe you have been overthinking and you have been stressed and there's way too much on your mind right now. And that's kind of why you can't see how you really are. Or what needs to change we have wounded child but it was in the shadow aspect right maybe you've also been denying the fact that you need some some compassion maybe you've been in hermit mode and you you just haven't maybe you need a hug you need some extra loving right now you need someone maybe a shoulder to cry on and you've been in uh, in denial because you're that strong person you're the one that people come to when they're going through the rough time but you can't always do that you need to stop denying yourself the the love and, and support that you truly need yes your angels your ancestors and your guides they got your back right but who says that you can't have support from your friends and family too you know and it's hard we don't want to ask for help believe me i know um <laughs> you know my hard-headed ass is always the person who's like eh, i can do it myself or i'm a burden if i ask for help you're not a burden the right people will help you and if people think you're a burden, then clearly they're not for you. And you need to find people who will help you and love you unconditionally. And, you know, obviously you are always helping people and going out of your way. It's time for you to take a step back and do it. Like, have them take care of you for once. Let them treat you, okay? You're always out here doing all this shit for everybody else. Take a step back. But the shadow aspect, attributes, whatever, same shit. Blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds. Resists moving on through forgiveness. Okay. Forgiveness. Yeah. <laughs> There's a need for you to let go of your past. You've been in denial of the fact that you're holding on to a lot of shit from your past. And you're like using that as a crutch or an excuse. Like, this is the way I am. I'm not going to change, you know, my past, blah, blah, blah you can change all right i was that person back in the day i was always like uh this is how i am take me how i am all right but then i realized that i don't like how i am because i took a good look at myself well i'm good now like you know and i'm always striving to get better but before i was in a dark dark deep dark hole right and i i had to take a step back and be like okay well i'm not happy um my health is diminishing everything all this other stuff you know maybe you were going through this my mind is going crazy because i'm overthinking everything which is why i'm clouded which is why i can't see literally what's going on and what i need to change everything is 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 not as it should be and it's took me learning that i need to heal first of all learning how to heal and then you know taking those steps in forward in forgiveness you know I had a lot of childhood wounds that I needed to forgive the people in my life um, who were doing the best that they could at that time and right now you really need to stop denying the fact that you need to forgive and let go of the past but also forgiving yourself that's the main thing I feel like you're holding resentment against yourself because you feel like you should be farther than you are or you feel like you should have more but right now you need to take a step back and realize you're exactly where you're meant to be Stop denying the fact that you do need to change, yes, but whatever happened in the past, it doesn't affect you anymore. You can't let that hold you. You have to focus on what you can do in the present moment to create the person that you want to be and have patience on this journey. Believe me, Ooh, divine time and impatience is a virtue is my life past, uh, <laughs> you know, saying and I have the least amount of patience. My patience is always getting tried, okay? 
and um, it takes a lot to learn how to just trust and be patient and just let go of the past and understand that that's no longer you you are not that past person anymore you're a completely new person and you're going to continue to grow and become your best self stop denying the fact that you need to change that's what i'm getting right now stop denying the fact that you need to incorporate habits that are going to help you declutter your mind and start improving yourself by implementing habits that are gonna help you to become better if you want to lose weight and you feel unhealthy you're say you're complaining you're tired all the time but you haven't been working out you haven't been eating right you haven't been going on walks or getting in the sun and you kind of just been sitting and eating junk food and watching Netflix and you haven't been sleeping because you've been on your phone scrolling all day just staring at things comparing yourself to everybody else when you should be creating your life and work focusing on what you want to do been there done that <laughs> And, um, you know, when I start going down that hole and then I feel my heart close and my vibration lowers, a lot of bad things happen because when your heart closes, you can't receive, which I just learned. If your heart is closed, you can't receive. Like, you'll still get things, but you're not receiving the true manifestations, the true blessings that you are wishing for, the true manifestations that are yours on a higher level if you can get there by you know starting to practice gratitude more or you know whatever it is we're gonna find out what guidance you need but I'm saying your habits need to change you're in denial that you have unhealthy habits that are blocking you from becoming a better person and you need to forgive your past and yourself and let that shit go because that ain't real no more okay and we have courage aquamarine that's a four we got 42 which reduces to a six love balance harmony there's too much stuff going on in your life and you have to have the courage to say no to people when it's a no you have to be courageous in regards to boundaries and also having a, the courage to look at your emotions you know dive deep do some shadow work do some inner child healing because that's what's needed right now to clear out that fog so you can have a clear vision in regards to what do you want to manifest in your life right maybe you've been in um a denial in denial in denial <laughs> what in um what do you call that fudge whatever in a in a period of like a lull like you just stagnant stuck you you don't know what to do you feel like nothing is moving and that's because you have to start cutting out the things that no longer serve you in order to welcome in the new stuff and also working on opening your heart and with that comes you know to get that sorry you need to start healing your inner child and that takes a lot of courage believe me healing is not easy you know and at first it's a lot of tough days and crying and stuff like that but also I always talk about this laughter can heal too you know they both do the same thing crying and laughter they both both do the same thing so why not laugh laugh it off baby like they always say laugh it off never really questioned that right and I just saw 1122 which is one of my angel numbers like yeah y'all need to have more fun right now to get yourself out of that rut get moving you know start stop watching TV stop binge watching that Netflix you know what I'm saying how about you do you I'm not saying you can't watch Netflix okay Maybe do one episode a day or one episode after you do whatever goals that you have and stuff like that. I think it will help you improve your productivity if you give yourself a goal and then the reward. Like, okay, if I work out today, then later I get to watch a Netflix episode of whatever it is, you know? I don't know. It's going to be different for everybody. You know, give yourself um, something that you can do. So let's see which deck we are going to get some guidance from we're gonna go to the queen of the moon it's the queen of the moon and uh we're gonna figure out what can help you in regards to whatever it is that you're in denial of which we just went over and i'm not repeating all of that because then i'm gonna be like a broken record and i'm always doing that so let's stop it okay let's see how are you yeah okay so you're in denial that you are in a dark place right now maybe you're like oh I'm fine everything's okay it's not it's not and you might be seeing 444 
Which means this is a part of your spiritual path. You're on the right path, but the thing is that you need to, you know, start focusing on what this darkness is and accepting it, you know? I've had anger issues. I've been in depressive depression and stuff like that and what really helps me is writing things down in order to you know let it go and get out of my system you know because your feelings are valid you might think of it as darkness but it's it's valid you know this is all valid maybe you need to start creating things you, have you ever heard that like you know how those artists they're always like super creative when it's like they're going through like a dark phase that's because I, I feel like you know expressing yourself in a creative manner whatever creative manner that works for you will get your emotions out as well you know for me it's writing sometimes and stuff like that painting and all that etc etc but you really need to focus on getting out of that darkness you know which is again getting rid of those toxic habits and stuff like that I'm getting devil energy which we will get tarot and um, if the devil comes out I will not be surprised okay <laughs> um, anyway sorry I'd be doing a, a lot of accents we have hunger okay maybe you have too much fog also because you're around a lot of people maybe you need to take a step back and go hermit mode lone wolf right because you don't know what you want you're not passionate you don't have that hunger that desire so that's why you're staying in this dark hole right attraction you're blocking your blessings from coming in you know four four we literally have 40 and then four and then four four so you're probably seeing four 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 like i said already <laughs> um but you know I'm not saying that it's easy to get out, out of dark situations because, you know, I've been in dark situations and it's not easy, you know? But either you're spending too much time alone and you need to be around people who can help you and support you and, you know, it's okay to let them know, like, yeah, I'm not where I want to be. I'm going through a dark time because this is going to be different for everybody. You know, there's multiple people watching this. Or you need to take a step back from people who are causing you to use things or do things that are not for your highest good and causing you to step towards some darkness you know what I'm saying maybe you need to fly take a vacation no, I'm just kidding <laughs> I heard a plane sound <laughs> maybe we could joke about it anyway maybe you need to stop being so serious too and start looking at things as a joke like bad shit happened to me in my past right and I'm going back to the forgiveness thing and I make jokes about it literally I'll make jokes about it like you know because it's not real anymore it happened in the past and if you think about it it's kind of funny yeah <laughs> sometimes it's funny I don't know but that's just me you know sometimes that's just how I, I move past things you know if I can make a joke about it then that's how I know I've moved on from it and I've healed like damn what was I thinking with that shit you know what I'm saying like that kind of kind of vibe you know um but you can't let the things from your past block you from becoming passionate right now because you are stagnant due to the fact that you have this darkness because of all the things from your past, okay? So it's time to be courageous and start focusing on healing. Start focusing on what brings you peace. Start meditating. And meditation doesn't mean you have to sit in this cross-legged position and um, even though that's always a good time, okay? I highly approve of meditation at all times. But there is something that you can do and something that you need to close out because I'm drawn to the fact that this is a 28 and that reduces to a 10, okay? And there's a circle around her. You need to, you're either going to start closing out cycles or you need to start closing out cycles. You need to start shedding your old self in order to move towards what you're really hungry for, you know what I'm saying? This darkness is not going to always stay there. I go through it in waves, okay? Darkness is always going to come. Yin, yang, dark, light, you know what I'm saying? It's always the balance, the polarity, right? that's always gonna come but we can't let that shit block us it happened it came for a reason right this darkness what is this teaching me what can I learn how can I improve what do I need to improve on in keeping my vibration higher I'm not gonna say it's easy to stay in a high vibration all the time but it's possible to stay in a higher vibration because sometimes we go low 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 but then you know you get back up 
and then you're like, I'm only gonna go this low. I'm not gonna get let myself stay in this low vibration for long because I know how to get out of it. And it's gonna be different for everybody because you know, a lot of different things bring a lot of different a lot of you guys are gonna find peace in different ways, okay? Sheesh. There's something that you also need to communicate, um, cause like I'm like stumbling my words. So maybe there's something that you need to communicate. Maybe you need to apologize to somebody that you hurt or something like that, if that's what you need. Or, you know, if you can do a forgiveness workshop or a ritual, write down, you know, something that will help you in regards to this. Because like, all right, so this person hurt me, but what was the good thing that came out of it? All right, or writing a letter to somebody who you need to forgive you know whatever that works for you bottom of the deck 35 change okay you're gonna stay in this loop unless you start changing unless you get grounded and start healing and focusing on letting go of your childhood wounds letting go of your childhood past and look this came out for a reason patience what was I saying earlier, right? Patience. Because you're going to go through this vortex into this whole new world. Once you start taking these steps, okay? These steps towards this new world is the habits that you need to start implementing to keep your vibration high. Whether it's practicing gratitude or whatever brings you peace. Whoever brings you peace. Focus on peace right now. Because you don't have any peace in your life right now. And that's what you've been in denial. You're like, oh, my life is good. And yes, it's good but it could be better you know I'm not saying don't be grateful for where you're at but acknowledge the fact that you're in a darkness acknowledge the fact that you're hurting acknowledge the fact that you need to forgive and heal from your past okay oh 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 oh, oh. okay I'm gonna read the smoke and mirrors real quick and get whatever messages that need to come from there and then we will go on to your self care oh the tarot I'm gonna read the smoke and mirrors. Damn, I'm not trying to have this be hella long. If you're here for it, fuck it, right? Alright, so, 42. 42, 42, 42. Smoke and mirrors. <laughs> okay, listen to this. Get this! Seeing through the lens of past conditioning, the inability to recognize the truth of what is being offered, healing from misguided perfection perceptions excuse me moving beyond the illusion of separation being accountable for your bias and the way you view the world so maybe you also need to change your perspective maybe you are in a victim mentality again like I said earlier you know your path this is the way I am blah 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 why is everything happening to me now it's not happening to you it's happening for you to shift your mindset you know what I'm saying because you can co-create with the universe but you're not seeing things you have to understand that the universe is here to work with you, but if you keep putting out negative energy and holding on to the past, you're just going to keep repeating it. You feel me? Alright, which... We are going to use the psychic tarot. Okay, so you guys are definitely probably going through a dark night of the soul since um this is for my light workers my intuitives you know what i'm saying <laughs> hello you're trying to move to calmer waters you want more balance in your life right but you have to acknowledge the fact that you're unbalanced because until you acknowledge what's wrong and then take a step back you won't be able to you know find a solution because you're in the problem Alright, so anything else you can tell us in regards to pile number one, what they've been in denial about, any guidance or anything that will help them. We got the third eye, ah, Shepherd coming out strong, okay. Maybe you have psychic abilities that you are in denial about as well, yeah, <laughs> awareness. You're in denial about the fact that you can manifest all you want. You're in denial about the fact that you have a lot of opportunities waiting for you. Happiness is waiting for you. It's just you need to tap into that power because you are truly abundant, right? So bottom of the deck. And I want to point this out as well. So we have the Nine of Swords. 
you guys are stressed, you have anxiety, there's a lot of things that are causing you mental anguish, maybe you're having trouble sleeping, right? There's a time for you to really just kind of take a step back and take a look at your life, maybe write a list of goals down, maybe write a list of things that you want to let go of, maybe do a full moon ritual, we got the full moon coming up, if you're watching this when I'm dropping this, but this is timeless, whenever the next full moon is, okay? Um... You need to, you know, do a little ritual, okay? But we also have the base chakra, okay? And that to me is about stability, security, you know what I'm saying? You don't feel stable, you don't feel secure, you don't feel as if, you know, you had a safe, you weren't, you didn't feel safe, maybe you didn't have a safe childhood. So that's dwelling in, and you know, again, we're talking about the forgiveness, it's coming back and affecting you, your past is coming back. So you need to get grounded, you need to work on balancing your base chakra and also your third eye because you are intuitive, okay? Like I called from the beginning once I picked that deck up. Peep that glare. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You are intuitive, okay? And because of you being unbalanced right now and unharmonious, you're not seeing and using your gifts. You're not following your intuition. You're probably getting nudges to do certain things and you're not doing them. You're not doing them. And then that's holding you back from manifesting what you need. Okay? Because you are abundant and you are a master manifester. And you have the awareness to create things. You're a creative being. Okay? You are a creative, abundant being who can make things happen. But you're letting that darkness come over you know succumb and take over yourself or whatever the fudge you know okay we have light right reaching for the stars wish fulfillments are right there at the tips of your fingertips at your fingertips <laughs> the tips of your fingertips um and you have new opportunities you know maybe you planted some seeds and you've been waiting you know what was i talking about earlier with the stagnancy you have to understand that they are coming it's gonna grow but it's gonna happen when you start changing because we have what butterflies again okay yeah you want your peach tree to grow you know if you want your peaches your bum to grow you got to do the squats you know what i'm saying <laughs> That's funny. All right. I don't know where that came from, but that, you know, you got to do the work in order if you want to see the results. But also that means doing the work inner because your inner as above, so below, as within, so without. Your inner world is going to start reflecting outside. If you have a lot of anger. I also learned this as well. If you hold a lot of anger in you, um, but you don't express it, right? You just have a lot of anger and resentment in your body. And then you probably notice, maybe some of you guys have had people just be mean to you or lash out at you for no reason, right? All the time and shit like that. And it's because you have anger and people are being triggered due to the fact that you're holding that anger within you. So you need to release that in order to call in the light and happiness, okay? You gotta forgive, you gotta let go. You can't keep doing that. And also, when things happen to you, you have to look at it from a different perspective. Don't just react. Alright? You're an adult. And if you're not, regardless, hold yourself accountable. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna call it here. <laughs> so let's tap into your self-care card and your lightworker oracle. <laughs> What was I talking about? What was I talking about with the base chakra, right? What was I talking about? Look at this. Ground yourself. And can we peep the rainbows? First of all, focus on your heart, your crown, and your third eye, like I said, but also your base, okay? Maybe you need to do some, listen to some frequencies, but you need to align your chakras. Maybe you gotta get some Reiki or some energy work done, whatever it is. There's many different kinds out there that you can figure out whichever one works best for you. But also, with the rainbow, I'm drawn to happiness. You need to focus on your happiness filling your cup up and getting your emotional body in check because when your emotions are out of whack and you have a lot of anger or any low vibrational like fear anything like that that does affect you physically you'll start getting it'll start manifesting in the 3d so you need to be aware of that if you start getting sick easily you know when i was younger and i had so much anger and resentment and all that stuff i was constantly sick all the time all the time and i never knew why i'm like i'm always sick <laughs> and then i start manifesting it because i'm talking about how i'm always sick you know what i'm saying and then i was always negative so i was just you know it was mm, a lot 
we have 10 okay so we have the divine feminine but you also which is about you know creativity manifestation and you know just sitting there and attracting and receiving and we also have the magician who makes me think of the emperor because of the divine masculine you know right here I don't know but I'm getting like vibes that you need to start stepping up and being that leader that you know you are but also doing it in a balanced way maybe balancing your feminine and your masculine you know taking action but also doing things that are creative and that make you happy yeah tapping in you're receiving downloads and guidance and your DNA your molecular DNA is shifting right now. You might be going through an ascension and having ascension symptoms. So it's time for you to kind of to just sit back and embrace it and, and accept that you are changing right now. And there's nothing you can do besides just go with that flow. Because why fight the change that's going to help you become the best version of yourself? You know what I'm saying? The power of the divine masculine. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. An empowering energy seeks expression from within. It wishes to free you from the confusion, paralysis, and stagnancy. What was I talking about? It seeks to stir you into consciously chosen action, greater discipline, and focus. Habits create your life. It's time to end the frustration of repeating old patterns. You are ready to break through into a new way of life. Feel inspired, be energized, and focus on your dreams and desires. Take steps to manifest them on the physical plane. Believe your success is inevitable. You're going to be successful regardless. It's just about the timing. And you know, divine timing is always at play. And that's one thing that I'm struggling to deal with. But I'm finding peace within it because I start focusing on the now. When I start focusing on the present moment and doing things day by day, I stop overthinking and I stop worrying about the past and I stop worrying about the future. And I just do what I can in the moment. It really does help me find peace. And right now, that's what you need right now. Because you have a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress and a lot of things that are going on right now. You need to take a step back. Maybe you need to go into hermit mode. And if you are alone, maybe you need to spend some time with people who are going to help you. Because there's just a lot. A lot that needs to, to be shed. And it's going to be different for everybody right now. But you, you can't deny the fact that you need some emotional healing. And you need to let go of the past and focus on being present. But I'm spitting over here. It's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And stay strong. You will get through this, okay? Maybe you need to do some positive affirmations as well. I love you guys. Bye. What's going on, my pal number twos? I'm back. Okay, so... What are you in denial about? Let's talk about it, okay? Got some pre-shuffled cards. We're gonna save your Lightworker Oracle and your self-care card for the Zilast, okay? And then, um, you know, we're gonna use these to figure out what you have been in denial about, okay? So, first card. Physical body. Are we not? Are we not? Okay, there we go. Physical body, the root chakra. Hoo Energy's heavy. All right. First of all, you've been in denial of the fact that you don't feel safe, you don't feel secure. Maybe you don't feel grounded. Maybe you don't feel like, you know, stable in your finances or stable in your relationship. Something is unstable in your life. And you've been denying it to yourself. Like, nah, it's, it's good. It's alright. Nah, I, mean, I think you might need to, like, knock that down and rebuild. You know? Something. Whatever it is. It's gonna be different for everybody. If you're new here, though, hit that subscribe button down below. And hit the little bell so that you get notified every single time that I post. And give this a thumbs up. Blah, thumbs up. If it resonates. And comment down below if, you know, whatever you need to. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want, I'm here for the feedback. If you need help, whatever, I'm here for it, okay? But also, hello, the number one thing, your physical body, okay? You've been in denial that your physical body may be going through some things and it needs some attention. Maybe you need to go to the doctor. Maybe you need a checkup. Whatever it is, 
Maybe you need to eat better. Maybe you need to work out. Start taking small steps in order to improve your body, you know? But also, you also need to take steps in moving, in moving, removing, overthinking, and stress. Because stress and your emotional body affects your physical body. So maybe you guys have been stressed out and been going through some things and then that's affecting you, you know? Your mental affects your physical. As above, so below. As within, so without. Y'all already know. Okay, so we have Hermit. But it's in the reverse, so it's the shadow aspect. Maybe you've also been a little claustrophobic and stuck in the house. Maybe you need to get out and start moving your body. Maybe you also need to maybe go on a hike. Maybe go out and spend time with people, you know. Maybe you've been too enclosed and you're feeling left out away from society. And that's, you know, maybe causing you to be sad. And sadness is going to affect your body in a physical way. Withdraws from society out of fear or negative ju judgments of others, refusing to help those in need. Whoa. Also, maybe you've been in denial of the fact that you've been a little selfish. This is only going to resonate for some of you. If you know, then you'll know, okay? Don't get triggered, okay? Don't come for me. Anyway, even if you do, I don't really care, you know? Sometimes readers trigger people. Hell, I've been triggered before, and it happens, you know? After you're you go through your trigger moment then you're like damn now they was right they was right mm -hmm. I needed to hear that because <laughs> I triggered myself in a reading I watched one of my own readings and triggered myself and I was like fuck does this happen to people who watch me <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> anyway um, refusing to help those in need so maybe somebody needs help or maybe you need to help yourself Maybe you've been exhausting your body because you've been putting everybody else first. This is for some of you. Some of you guys have been putting everybody else first and you haven't been really like withdrawing from society. Maybe there's a need that you need to withdraw from society. Maybe you've been, you know, maybe you're, you're, you're fearing taking a step back from people to rest your body and you're doing too much but you really need to take a step back and you're like oh my god I'm gonna get judged or whatever you have fears that are blocking you from taking care of yourself that are affecting you in ways that are not good for you that are gonna cause you to go into a depression cause you to go into a hole in order for you to be able to go into society with your best foot forward you need to take care of your your spiritual, your emotional, your mental, and your physical health so that you can be in alignment and go out there and that's when you don't allow anything outside of you to fuck with you. The people who, you know, are judging you, whatever, who, you know, if anybody got something to say about you, if you're in alignment and you know who the hell you are, you're not going to give a damn about what Billy down the street got to say about you, okay? You're not going to give a damn about what I got to say about you, all right? <laughs> no, but I think you're thinking way too much. You're in denial about the fact that you're overthinking about the fact that you need to stop caring about what everybody thinks about you. That's another thing. Okay. Quieting the mind. <laughs> yeah, you need to also meditate and focus on quieting your mind. You know, maybe you've been wanting change and you've been wishing for so many things, but you haven't had the energy to do so because you need to take a step back. And you need to seek solitude and start putting yourself first and start doing some self-care and some self-love, right? You know? Mm -hmm. There's things that are blocking you. Maybe there's people in society that you need to let go of because they have been putting their negative energy on you or judging you for whatever it is that you love doing, right? Fuck them. Let go of them mothers. I'm sorry. Y'all got me cussing. I wasn't cussing in the last group like this. I was saying like, I wasn't saying the F word, okay? I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Alright, but maybe you guys have been people pleasing and doing too much and overthinking about everything and worrying about what everyone else has to say and worrying about whatever's going on with everybody else but you need to take a step back 
you need to take a step back so that you can really, really, really focus on helping yourself and becoming your best self and then you'll be able to go back, okay? But you gotta quiet your mind, you gotta breathe, you need to rest, okay? Then you can go back. And some of you guys may need to get out there. Some of you guys have been in a little box, right? You have been in hermit mode. You have been quieting your mind and you've been going doing the inner work, which is cool, but you haven't been going out there exploring, getting new opportunities and moving your body because moving your body is also going to help you to, you know, it's just movement is necessary in life. And if even if it's just taking a walk around the block, somebody needs to do that, okay? But I'm gonna check out the Seven Energies Oracle and we're gonna read. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. 32, baby. 32. Quieting the mind, okay? <laughs> okay. So, quieting the mind. Meditation as a commitment. Mm, so, you need to implement meditation, whatever that is for you. That doesn't mean that you have to sit here cross legged, okay? Meditation is something that brings you to the present moment something that helps you to remember that you are not your thoughts that you're the consciousness being aware behind it okay anyway need the need for silence peace within despite chaotic outer conditions letting go of the monkey mind and mindfulness yeah life is chaotic busy loud and for frantic and overwhelming some days all the noise is like a roar of thunder echoing around you and it feels as though you are being pummeled by a rainstorm isn't this why we take vacations to get away to somewhere peaceful in spite of your surrounding din of the world today you need to slow down and find a bit of peace so go ahead take a deep breath right now You need that. Make a commitment to be still, if only for five minutes a day. Count your breaths and be mindful of every one of them. Know that you have all the time in the world to do the things that you need, that need doing. Everything is perfect as it is. Our core beliefs about the world originate in our thoughts and feelings, which then become our perceptions. You need to switch your perception. You're not responsible for everything and everyone around you. Start taking care of yourself. If our thoughts are all over the place, if our thoughts are all over the place, that is how we will experience the outer world. But yeah, that's what I was saying. You know, it was unstable in the beginning, right? You need stability because everything's chaotic. Anyway, but what if the outer world didn't matter at all? What if it was our center, there, where a place that is always calm? Mm. where the mind doesn't have a million things to say, where problems and challenges aren't nearly as important as we think they are. Today requires you to take an internal break and go to that silent space to regroup, meditate on the stillness within, choose a peaceful mind and nothing else. You'll be amazed at how easily everything falls into place once you do that. Yeah, you need to be present, you need to find peace, and you just need to quiet your mind whether it's journaling or whatever you have a lot of things racing through what are my air signs gemini libra aquarius <laughs> yeah you guys are overthinking and that's gonna you know kind of mess with you so i'm gonna get some uh oracles from the light worker oracle okay and we're gonna see you know what guidance we can get in regards to this denial that you have been had that you need to take some time for yourself maybe some of you guys really do need to go on a vacation maybe some of you guys just need to take a step back from all the responsibilities that everyone's throwing on you and understand that you don't have to be responsible for that hold on one second though and we're back all right so i'm gonna check out the work your light oracle cards and see what else source wants you to know in regards to this okay what can help you get through this because clearly you know you need to get grounded 
Alright, we got you already doing it. Oops. Hi, can we focus? Hello. Okay. Hi. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So that makes me think about your purpose. That makes me think about you going within, standing by yourself, and start focusing on building your foundation, building your empire, because you have a big empire, you have a big purpose, you have something that you need to do, that you love to do, it's going to be different for all of you, but it's time for you to not overthink it and just start taking more action, you know, and don't fear, because everyone's going to have something to say. And you can't really focus on what everybody else is saying. You gotta worry about what you feel and what you think. We also have awakening. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. Clearly there is a new way of being that needs to be had. You know, quieting your mind, meditation, and just... Focusing on your purpose. And if you don't know your purpose, what do you like? What do you love to do? What makes you happy? What brings you joy? What do you feel that you could do if money wasn't an option? I always bring that up. You know what I'm saying? There's a path that you need to do. Look, look, look. It says, oh, that's mad funny. Oh, my God. Trust your path and read what that says. If you can't read, it says, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? That's literally what I was trying to say. So if you knew you were going to be supported and wouldn't have a care in the world and you're just like a child and you could do anything, what would you do? What would you do? Play. Have fun, celebrate, and don't be serious. It's time for you to have some fun. You've been doing too much of what everyone else wants you to do and you haven't been doing enough things of yourself. Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? Okay, look at this. This person is scattered. It's like everybody's taking a piece of you. Everyone has been taking a piece of you. You haven't had time to have fun. You've been overthinking everything. And it's kind of lowering your vibration when right now you're kind of having an awakening. Or if not, I hope after this you do. That you need to take a step back. Uplift your energy and get out there and put yourself out there and start living in your purpose before you can do that You do need to take a step back and maybe step away from certain people and things that are blocking you and affecting you in a negative way There might be people holding you back or putting things in your mind that are making you not feel good But you definitely need to get physical and get moving maybe do some dancing or whatever I don't know there's something physical that you can do that can help you emotionally which will help you align your life and then you can start being more present and stop overthinking and then start think once you become present everything kind of like literally just comes to you like the card said everything starts to fall into place right so everything will start falling into place if you start having fun and doing things that'll get your energy up and, and make you have more motivation to live and even if it's small things making those things fun like oh i gotta do laundry Let's put some music on and then, you know, because I used to hate laundry. I'd be like, I fucking hate laundry. Blah, blah, blah. Now I just do it. I listen to music and I do my laundry and like 2.2 seconds is done. And, you know, I'm not over here stressed. I'm just like, all right, I got to do laundry. It's a part of life. And I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to make it fun. I'm going to have fun because every part of my life, I'm going to make sure I have fun if I can control it. And if I can't control it, I'm still going to change my perspective and switch it up and see what I can control. You know what I'm saying? But, we're going to get some tarot from the Uncommon Tarot. And let's check out what else Source would like for you to know before we close off with our self-care and light worker oracle card. I was like, with what? Huh? <laughs> Hello. Get it together. But yeah, it's time for you to, to play more and start having more fun and putting yourself first. Let's begin. Okay? What was I even talking about? That? <laughs> um, Alright, so at the end of the day right now, you need to deny 
I mean, you're in denial about the fact that you do need to put yourself first right now because everybody has been taking your energy. You might have people that you need to cut off or take a step back from because they might be siphoning your energy. You need to start having fun and putting yourself first and stop taking everything so seriously. And stop overthinking everything because honestly, you're already living your purpose just by being alive. And when you start focusing on what you love, that's also going to attract you to, well, put you in the direction of fulfilling your life purpose more and more because you do need to keep your energy high and start focusing on changing things again like i said you know working out and all that stuff so yeah that's where we was you need to change five, five, five. <laughs> okay we got the devil in reverse mm-hmm so, you're going to have to break bonds. You're going to have to cut off negative people. We have the Nine of Pentacles. You are going to need to do it alone right now. Maybe, because again, we were talking about how stagnancy was involved, you know? Analysis paralysis is a thing when you overthink things. And instead of taking that chance and just doing it, you need to take action. And... In order to take action right now, you need to stay away from certain people. We have the Ace of Swords. So you need to change your surroundings. You need to change, you know, your habits. Getting more active and stuff like that. Doing more journaling so you stop overthinking. Focusing on keeping your vibration high. Because you are truly a gem. You are unique. And when people see you, they probably, you know either intentionally or unintentionally um, might be just, you know, trying to spend time with you due to their ego. I don't know if this makes sense, but you look good, your energy feels good, so they feel good when they're with you. And sometimes you need to realize that you might need to cut through all that bullshit and just fucking do it yourself for a little bit until you find people who aren't really going to block you from stepping into this new change because there's you're fighting this change you're in denial about the fact that you are being hard-headed at this moment and not changing things that you know you need to change let's be real you want to blossom you got to water those plants page of wands it's time to get creative it's time to start that new journey. It's time to not be afraid to step out of your own box. Transformation is key right now. What you change and what you let go of is going to propel you forward towards success. Because success is inevitable for you, remember? But if you overthink things and you stay going back to those negative habits or those negative people, instead of breaking the bonds that you know you need to break, and standing in your power and being that independent mother that you know that you are because you are amazing you will forever be stuck in this cycle of just unmotivation feeling stagnant and not feeling your best bottom of the deck is the magician in reverse so you don't feel that you got what it takes you don't feel like you can do it even though you literally have all the tools to complete everything for all of the goals that you have in life you have everything that you need but right now you need to kind of take a vacation you can like whether it's a mental vacation if you can't like take a literal vacation if you can take a vacation take a vacation because you just need to be in the present moment or maybe maybe take a daycation and treat yourself on your day off if you're working and stuff like that and spend some time with yourself and just Go to the beach and sit on the beach by yourself, bring a notebook, write things down, get it off of your mind, listen to the to the waves and just enjoy that fresh air and maybe you need to go into nature, maybe you just need to just, you know, do something that's fun for you. You know, if you have activities that are fun for you, do that, whatever it is. You need to get creative and you need to do something that is fun. So that you can get back in that mood and get back energized and be uplifted again and start tackling those goals that you know you can. Because once you 
take the tools that you have and start using them and stop denying the fact that you are a master manifester and that you can create your life and you can do anything like that until you do that you will forever be in a cycle of darkness you will forever be in a cycle of just feeling like nothing is coming but if you start taking small steps to have fun and enjoy life and not letting everybody siphon and take away your energy because you're probably feeling drained due to all of those things and starting to work out and stuff like that, everything is going to turn in your favor. Luck is on your side, but you need to trust your intuition. Your intuition is guiding you right now, okay? Sooner or later, you're going to have to let those boundaries down and then start inviting people back into your life. But at this moment, right now, when you are watching this, you need to take a step back and evaluate your life. Evaluate everything. What do I need to keep and what do I need to go? You got to make a list, pros and cons, you know, whatever it is for you is going to be different. But you definitely got to figure it out because if you don't, you're just going to... You're going to be stagnant and stuck forever. And who really wants that? You'll have small changes and then you're going to keep complaining about how nothing's working out for you. But it's because you're not doing anything. And I mean that in the kindest way. I'm not saying you're not doing anything, but I'm saying that, you know, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're doing the things that are not really, really for you. And you need to break those bonds and break those ties and, and stop doing those negative things that are draining you and pulling your energy down. Okay, but we have your self-care card and your Lightworkers Oracle to end this off, okay? Your self-care card is a seven. So this is a part of your spiritual journey. To This is probably karma from a past life. And you've been through this before, and these are le these lessons are repeating themselves. So you probably might want to do things differently. No, I'm just kidding. You don't know about your past life, or maybe you do. But regardless, this is karma that you maybe have acquired from this life too, as well. But you know that you need to move forward and not be who you were yesterday. Maybe it's small steps every day, changing a habit. All right, I'm gonna read a book today. And I'm going to start adding that in. Five minutes a day, I'm going to read. I'm going to start meditating. Maybe three times a week, and then I'll build on after that. Whatever it is, small habits compounded over time create momentum. And that's what you need right now because you are stagnant and you are stuck. Once you have momentum, everything comes and flows. Okay? Whew. Anyway, <laughs> your burning ritual or the burn... Your your self-care card is a burning ritual okay releasing that's what that means to me what do I need to let go of write it down set it on fire if you need to whatever this is you need to and she has a lot of lists and a lot of pens you need to write you need to write or if not type it whatever do a voice note but you need to differentiate between what needs to stay in your life and what needs to go you need to journal and you just need to get everything in your mind out of it so you can think clearly and be able to figure out what the next step is for you in your life because then everything will start to flow and a lot of good luck will happen we have 14 which reduces to a 5 so regardless you need to change or the universe is going to give you a tower moment and cause you to change and it's not easy when you get that tower moment because when you fight change shit will happen to push you out of your comfort zone you constantly need to be stepping out of your comfort zone in order to grow and become a better person and yeah it's tough sometimes we fail but you learn and then you can do it better the second time or the third time or the fifth time you know what I'm saying like no one is perfect and how do you think people get good is they keep trying until they get better you become a master because you do it more and more soul child baby soul child gotta let your soul glow if you know you know <laughs> jerry curl juice okay rebirth is upon you we literally have the death card but it's in reverse because you guys are fighting change you can't fight the change anymore you're gonna get a tower moment sorry sorry I know I'm, I'm reiterating but <clears throat> okay you've been denying this that you need to change it's time changes are coming rebirth is upon you beautiful child of the universe <laughs> you have to prepare for a new life and it's starting now 
The divine moment of rebirth occurs after a period of struggle, of intense inner work, or physical transformation. Enjoy getting to know this new self. It is a new day, a new beginning, a new you. Like an adventurer, enjoying the discovery of a brand new world, take your time to explore the increase of your light, power, and love. So you need to embrace who you are right now because you are a completely different person and maybe you're mid-transformation and you're in the transition phase, which is completely normal because we all go through that. Like the butterfly in the cocoon, which is the most uncomfortable part because they're literally going through so much pain in order to become that butterfly. And then when they go, they spread their beautiful wings and shine their beauty to the world, right? And that is what you need to do. You need to embrace this. Embrace this beautiful world and embrace who you truly are and start embracing change. Embrace change. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Embracing change will help you because once you accept that nothing is constant, it makes life a lot easier. Okay? But it's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. I hope that this helped you in any way that it can. I love you, and I'm sending you so much love. I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, or whatever, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. What's going on, my pile number trees? Tree, tree, tree. It's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up and comment down below if this resonates, okay? So... Y'all already know. What are you in denial about? Actually, you don't know because you're denying it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Anyway, as always, you know, until I stop doing it, we have a self-care card and a light workers oracle that we will close out this reading with. And um, I have three cards that we pre-shuffled. A uh, significators, significator, signif. I can't say it. Okay. Somebody needs to speak their truth. Mm hmm. Um, in regards to what you are denying. What are you in denial about? Right? So, let's see. Nature, baby. The heart chakra. Heart chakra. Hmm. Talk to me. What are we in denial about? Ooh, you're in denial about your true nature your true self you deny what makes you truly happy there's things that need to come to an end in order for you to grow and become a better person and you don't want to let those things go you know or those people because we have vampire in the shadow so you're obviously a very caring loving and nurturing person this is your natural nature and you have a big heart okay but when you have a big heart a lot of negativity and a lot of people around you can drain you you know you need to be aware of who you're surrounding yourself because you have energy vampires there's people that you need to let go of there's people <laughs> can we focus you have to focus okay there is people that you need to let go of nine something is coming to an end relationships <sighs> this is going to get deep baby all right only take what resonates and leave okay hi where are you what does not Depleting others of, no, sorry, depleting others for your psychic survival, chronic complaining, and codependency. So there might be somebody who's attached to you, codependent, and they're draining you, or they're always complaining about everything. That's their nature. They complain. They see the glass as half empty instead of half full. And you know who it is. Could be multiple people you're aware of this they're draining your life force and um, you know maybe it's time for you to take a step back and really start 
seeing who is around you in your circle because the five people that you spend the most time with create help to create you when you're around a lot of people or certain people you pick up their qualities right so if you're around somebody who's always complaining or so codependent who can't do anything by themselves what are you gonna start doing maybe you need to take a step into nature and really get grounded and really figure out what is your next step because you do have a big heart and it's hard to to leave people maybe it's hard for you to let go of people because you care Ooh, look at that look at that and I'm gonna read the book for this one and this is uh, 23 reduces to a 5 which means change it's time to change it's time to heal your heart and in order to heal your heart you have to let go of these people who are hurting you whether they know it or not and I know sometimes it's hard like oh I gotta let go of this person but they've been my friend for years on years all right but you have leveled up your vibration is not on the same vibration as them that doesn't make you any better that just means you just don't resonate with them anymore and that means that you need to start finding people who you do resonate with you know what I'm saying you smell what I'm stepping in you know you know what you smell what I'm cooking I don't know I hope you understand gotta let them go okay healing the heart healing making amends the willingness to release past pain being responsible and accountable taking time to get healthy renewal and rebirth after suffering okay so yeah this is gonna hurt or maybe you already let go of certain people and your heart is hurting and that's maybe why you need to go into nature you can't deny the fact that this hurt and maybe you're you're being a little stubborn about it you're like nah I'm good it doesn't hurt I don't need them anyway fuck them right no but they were a part of your life they helped you in whatever way that it was you know you had a good time with them that doesn't mean that it's not gonna hurt your feelings are valid you can't deny that when you are wounded emotionally you need time to regroup and find your center you may have recently endured a breakup or betrayal lost someone close to you or lost an affliction that you gave too much power to some of you guys may have overcome something that was draining you as well and you let go of a habit and sometimes when we let go of like negative things and stuff like that we grieve that because that was our coping mechanism you know if that makes sense and now it's like you're grieving it because you can't cope that way anymore and now you need to replace it with a some type of healthy coping mechanism you know Perhaps you're watching someone go through a difficult time and feel bad that you can't help them. Maybe you're still not over a past disagreement. No matter the cause of this heartache, deep healing is called for. This happens on its own timetable. Sorry, I don't know what the hell that was. I had to pause for a second. And can never be rushed. Healing isn't linear, okay? We, all, we know this, right? The path to healing the heart centers on reciprocity. Oh, I said the word right, right? Because I always struggle to say that. The flow of giving and receiving. Sometimes wounding occurs because we've been too dependent. And what was we talking about? Literally had codependency right there. Maybe you guys were codependent on this person and you feel like you couldn't let go because they became a part of your world. But you can move on. You know, nothing is constant everything is always changing and we have a five literally okay anyway become too dependent on another and this is accompanied by the desire to manipulate or control an outcome you gotta release control holding on tighter to somebody who's trying to walk away from you is only gonna make them walk further and holding on to things that are bringing you down or draining your energy is only going to make you go down a dark tunnel okay 
Both wounding and healing usually begins within, but not from outer conditions of our lives. We often believe we can be wounded only by others, but we do more damage to ourselves in self-sabotage. Ooh. We'll get there, okay? In the self-sabotaging way that we think and behave, okay? It is important to take steps to heal yourself and become willing to release the pain of the past, which is can be tempting to revisit, you know? It's like a scab. <laughs> I saw I say this every single time. Like, you gotta let it just you gotta let it do its thing, because if you pick it early, it's just gonna start gushing again. And we don't like those gushers, you know what I'm saying? Then it has to do the healing process all over again. Fully heal. Alright? It's time to take responsibility for your part in this healing journey. Look for ways you can help yourself and others. Are you willing to make amends if needed, conversely? Or accept someone where they are without trying to influence their growth process? Healing the heart in all aspects is your priority right now. Nothing else matters. Only beauty and goodness will come as a result. Your heart center is closed. That's why we have this. The heart chakra. Your heart center is closed. You may be in a negative vibe, you may be really dependent on everybody else when right now you really need to focus on your healing journey and then figure out who you need to let go of because there's people or maybe you let go of people and you need to heal from that, you know? At the end of the day, it all happened for a reason. Yeah, the reason sucks, don't get me wrong, but well, the fact that it happened sucks and until you're done healing and then you're in a different vibration you won't be able to look at it from a different perspective you're going to keep looking at it with a negative mindset and um right now you just really need to focus on opening your heart and and straying away from any negative or draining energy at this moment so you can really heal and uplift yourself and really be aware of where yourself you're sabotaging yourself because you want to control everything you know? Because that's one thing that I have to learn is I can't control everything. And if I try to, I just stress myself out. And uh, just make everything worse. And destroy the whole thing. Which I have done multiple times. I mean, it happened... It happened for a reason, right? What was I saying earlier? I just want to point out that we have authenticity. And the first thing I said about this card was your true nature, right? You also need to make sure that you are being your true authentic self. I'm going to take this card because it fell. Okay? But you really need to um, accept who you are, you know? Also, the wolf, the lone wolf, that makes me think of that. So if you do need to spend some time, you know, healing and stuff like that, you're going to need to do it alone. And understand that you can't help everybody heal. It's up to them to want to heal. You can tell people how to heal word for word, step by step, whatever it is, and they still won't unless they want to. Everyone has free will, right? We have equality. The seahorse. It's time to go with the flow and release control. Balance the scale. We This reduces to a five as well. It's time to start focusing on your healing so that you can start focusing on your journey towards creating your foundation towards going towards abundance, you know? And also taking equal responsibility for your life. For, you know, if you hurt people, hold yourself accountable. There's people I've hurt. And then you need to forgive yourself. At the end of the day, you need to understand that you're always going to be protected. And you really need to just focus on happiness because your emotions are all over the place right now. Let's be real, they're all over the place. Sacrifice. You've been sacrificing a lot of bullshit for others. Mm. You sacrificed your stability. You sacrificed a lot of things in your life. I feel like you gave your all to certain people or someone. It, it depends. Everyone's story is different. You gave a lot. You gave a lot. And you felt like, you know, the only way that you could receive love was from that person. 
and now you feel like this person or those people or whatever the situation is, they're gone and now it's like, oh my god, am I worthy? I'm unworthy. Like, they left me so that means that I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough. And your ancestors are here coming through. Your ancestors are here coming through. And they want you to know that have your back. They want you to know that they are here for you. They want you to, to focus on your abundance. You're going to build something that's amazing. And you have to understand that you need to transform. You need to heal. You need to let go of that past. You need to let go of the fact that certain people hurt you. You need to forgive yourself for sacrificing, putting yourself last. And it's time to start putting yourself first and focusing on healing, getting into nature, and then building your empire. Bottom of the deck is loyalty. It's time to be loyal to yourself. It's time to be loyal to yourself. It's time to be loyal to who you love. Start climbing mountains for yourself and not for anybody else. Because I feel like you've been bending over backwards for others. And you're, you're denying yourself the self-care and self-love that you truly need. Because how are you supposed to fulfill your life's mission? How are you supposed to, you know, accomplish your goals if you're worried about everybody else's life and you're not putting yourself first? And then you're, you know, allowing others to complain and, and drag you down to their level or whatever it is may, the case may be because it's going to be different for everybody when you really need to focus on opening your heart and healing your heart and transforming and becoming more connected with your true authentic soul and stop people pleasing. You might not realize it, but you do things in order to make people happy, in order to feel loved. Like, you feel like if, you know, I don't do this for somebody, like, you do acts of service for people to fill everyone else's, you know, love tank up, but you're not really filling your love tank up. You need to take responsibility right now for your love tank and focus on self-love right now. Focusing on self-love will help your heart to heal, will help you to understand that you don't really need to be dependent on these other people and then you don't need, you can start setting better boundaries and then you'll stop allowing people to take advantage of you and then you'll start embracing who you are and not having to change yourself to feel loved by others because then when you're your true authentic self, your soul is going to call on other people who resonate with your soul and those people are going to love you unconditionally and you're not going to have to work for their love. You're not going to have to put yourself and sacrifice what you wouldn't normally for these people because they're just going to like, it's going to flow. It's going to be easy, okay? But you really need to focus on healing that heart because your emotions are causing you to be scattered and that's causing you to not really have clear clear control on what needs to change, who you need to shed away, and if you don't focus on figuring out like what to let go of, my battery's gonna die, fuck, then you're gonna get a tower moment, okay? And we hate tower moments, right? And we're back. Alright, so like I was saying, tower moment. If you don't let go of these people or these things, your ancestors will literally take out what is holding you back. like. Your ancestors are here, they're strong, they, they're powerful people, they're your guides, okay? Beings. And um, they know what is not serving you, and they're going to give you, because you have free will, they'll give you a little bit of time to make the choice on your own, but I'm telling you right now, if you don't walk away from these people or these things or these habits or situations that are not allowing you to be your true authentic self, they will force something that will force your hand. Something will happen that will be shocking and it will be like, oh my god, what's happening? Everything's falling apart. It's falling apart so you can build a firm foundation again. So you can start over. Because something has to come to an end. Anyway. Let's get some t -t 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 tarot. We're going to do the Mystic Mondays. It's funny because I'm posting this on Monday. <laughs> Happy Monday. Fun fact, I love Mondays. 
even when I used to work and stuff like that and people be like oh my god I hate Monday oh my god <laughs> I'd be like I fucking love Mondays I don't know I don't know but I do know that once you let go and and stop trying to control things and keep focusing on healing your heart and letting go of the people and situations that hurt you a lot of new beginnings are going to unfold but it's going to take you having to heal okay let's see what else what else can you tell us source what else what else what else what else okay and the eight of swords because oh, i changed my battery i didn't change the focus i need you to focus okay hi eight of swords hello okay you feel trapped you feel like you can't get out you feel like you can't leave whoever these people are whatever it is right and you're blind to it maybe you're blind to it you're, maybe you're blind to the decision because I'm drawn to the fact that there's two mountains back there or pyramids or whatever triangles call it what you want call me what you want bitch <laughs> you gotta stop caring about what people think don't give a shit about what people think, okay? What other people say about you is none of your business. It's time to move forward. You're letting your mindset trap you and feel, making you feel trapped, which is holding you back from really fulfilling your purpose, which is why your ancestors are getting aggravated with you, and they're gonna freaking force your hand, okay? They're gonna force you to change. There's another five right here, too. You guys have the 23, right? Yeah, okay. I was like, what pile is this? This is pile three, okay? <laughs> Look at me, I'm getting lost, man. Anyway. We have the tower in reverse. What am I saying? You're fighting this change, and it's going to happen regardless. You need to let it go. You have to stop fighting this. You are not trapped. You're in a mental prison right now, and you can let go of everything and anything. Nothing is constant, like I said. Everything flows from your life, and it's really time to get back to life, get back to reality, and start creating things in the present moment, in the now. What up, yo? What you doing here? Oh, we have the star. Wishes will be fulfilled when you take that leap. Your angels, your ancestors, your guides, they're supporting you. They want you to climb the ladder of success, but your mindset and your surroundings are blocking that okay they're blocking these changes they're blocking this healing because you need healing maybe you haven't been taking the time to start healing and you know you need to and that's a change that needs to happen and you feel trapped you feel like I can't do this I'm not strong enough you know and healing doesn't always have to be negative I'll say this every single time you can start with laughter or start with small things and understand that healing is a never-ending process god d d damn damn the fudge anyway like I was saying healing is a never-ending process and um it isn't linear there's no timetable like you don't have to be healed by the time this time next week you know what I'm saying um, the way I said that was weird but it doesn't matter anyway uh, but you really need to have hope that things are going to change and if you want things to change if you want things to change in your life you're gonna have to change things in your life you're gonna have to make some certain steps and that includes moving forward doing things that are fun chasing your happiness climbing new mountains taking new opportunities changing those fears fighting those limiting beliefs understanding that you are truly a limitless being and you are allowing those around you who have probably smaller minds or are less open minded than you to control your life I'm not saying they're bad people I'm not saying that they're doing it on purpose you know but you have a different perspective your mindset is more open and you want to move forward you want to chase success and success is yours you just have to make that choice you have to make the choice to propel yourself forward to it look at how happy okay maybe they're not happy but they have their hands in the air like they're happy because you can't really see all you see is their lips they're very content 
So it's kind of like you want to move forward, but you're really not enjoying the journey. You know, again, a lot of negativity right now. You're not enjoying this journey. You might even be successful in all that stuff, but are you really enjoying this journey? Are you really doing what really makes you happy? Or are you just doing what looks good on paper? Are you just doing whatever pleases everybody? You know, some of you guys might be in the public eye and you're just doing things uh, because, you know, people will like it and stuff like that. But being in the public eye, you also have to understand that when you're faking it or when you're putting on this facade instead of being who you truly are, that's exhausting. And your angels and your ancestors, they want you to know that you're going to be loved and accepted by whoever is meant to accept you because you are a truly powerful being who has a big purpose and you're going to find a loyal following for whoever that resonates with. I don't know, some of you guys might be influencers or some shit like that. Shout out to you guys. What up? Anyway, you're a star, baby. Estrella. You're a star. They used to call me that back in the day. Yeah. So it's time to take action. After you're done healing, because understanding that your healing is never really going to end, but after you have done some healing and you have opened your heart and you feel more balanced and more secure in yourself, it's time to take action. It's time to take action on making those changes and cutting certain things out. Because I'm drawn to the fact she has a sword. She's going to have to cut things out. It's not easy, you know. And it's also, if you have already cut people out or people have dr drifted out of your life, you need to cut out the self-pity party and understand that those people have left to make room for people who are meant to be in your life. You need to be more compassionate towards yourself and understanding that you are a unique being. Uh, damn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. But <laughs> you're a unique being who is beautiful in their own way like every tiger has their own individual stripe pattern okay stop comparing your stripe pattern to everybody else's stripe pattern okay maybe you feel like you're not gonna you're, okay so some of you guys maybe have a business or something like that and there's some type of competition no you don't have competition because you are literally your own person you have to go your own path but the thing is you have you can't fight the change you have to create your own path. You're the pioneer. You're the pioneer on the Oregon Trail. What? It's com two completely different things. So you have two choices. You have to make a decision. And it's probably stressing you out. And I feel like it has to do with the person that you really do deeply care about. And if it does, I'm sorry. But you need to be compassionate towards yourself. Yeah, it's definitely a person. Could be a masculine energy might be younger than you some type of person who might be in and out of your life who kind of like you know comes in and drains your energy and dips out and is like hey i'll see you in a week peace no you need to cut it cut it because um you're never gonna heal again we're going back to that um the scab you're it's like you're opening that wound again you're letting this person come in they come back in. You're like, yay, I'm so happy. Oh my god. <sharp inhale> Open the scab. There comes the pain. Oh my god, I was reading something today. Oh, hold up. It's funny. That's so funny. <sighs> okay. The power of now. Okay. So I read something. And I don't know why, but I, I folded it because sometimes I fold the pages um, when it resonates. But listen to this. Pleasure is always derived from something outside of you. Whereas joy arises from within, the very thing that gives you pleasure today will give you pain tomorrow, or it will leave you, so its absence will give you pain. There's more that resonates with this, but that's all I really needed you to hear. You gotta walk away, okay? Have the strength to walk away and put yourself first. You have to make this change. Stop fighting it. You're not trapped. You are not trapped. This person keeps coming in or these people or this situation, whatever it is, it keeps coming in and it keeps picking at that scab and you keep gushing and you're never going to heal. You're going to have a scar that looks terrible. Look at that. Look at that. I have a hell of scars. Anyway. 
Um, besides the point. They're not actually, they're just black. <laughs> what was I saying? Okay, regardless, at the end of the day, there might be a person, I feel like it's a person, that you really, really, really need to detach from right now and stop letting them come back in because I feel like they're taking advantage and you're making sacrifices every time you see them. You're sacrificing your peace of mind. You're, you're sacrificing your hope because you have hope, right? Every time they come back in, you have hope. Like, things are going to be different. Things are going to change. This is a new beginning. And then it happens again and they rip your heart out of your chest. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, so we have your self care and your light workers oracle. Let me close this motherfucker out. Okay, flow like water. Wasn't it talking about you guys? Yeah, right. Six balance, harmony, love. Okay, you need to go with the flow. Some of you guys need to take a bath. Some of you guys just need to go to the ocean, listen to the waves. Okay, but you really do need to go with the flow and and accept the fact that things are never stable like water. You know, you pour it into, you have to be adaptable right now. You have to accept the fact that you have to change your ways. You can't be stubborn, okay? What's up my Taurus is? You can't be that bull, okay? You have to go with the flow. Wasn't I saying go with the flow with these seahorses too? I think so. Doesn't matter. I'm freaking repeating myself at this point. But <laughs> you need to go with the flow. Maybe go into nature, because we did have nature. You need to go into nature so you can really clearly think about what is going on with your emotions. What do you need to heal? Is this worth it? Like, you're letting this person come in constantly, but is it worth the pain? Is it worth the suffering for that temporary pleasure? It's like drug addicts, you know? That high, you get that high, and then you just go lower than you were before. Okay? Don't do that to yourself. We got Star Child. Look at more water, huh? Controlling your emotions? No, you can't because it's going to fall out of your fingertips. You got to accept the fact, too, that the planets also control your emotions. So I'm drawn to the fact that uh, there's planets over here. You know, the moon and stuff. But I definitely am drawn to, um, you know, the fact that there's nature as well there's water nature you do need to go into nature because you're gonna get grounded you're gonna be more present if you just look and enjoy it the world and just like look at the serene beauty find some peace and start loving yourself what anyway but you gotta let go <laughs> okay star child the light of the stars exists in you the earth wants you to share that light with humanity. You are asked to understand that you are meant to be here. That you have spiritual work to accomplish. Give up the idea that you belong somewhere else, to another home in the stars. Instead, let that starlight of your inner being shine here on earth, where it shall make such a positive difference in the world. Fall in love with earth's beauty. Mm -hmm. She can and will support you. Yeah. What was I saying earlier with the, with the star card, right? You guys have a big purpose and a lot of people are going to see you and you're going to make a big difference. You are a star child. You are a star seed. You know, you are here to uplift humanity. And you're a beautiful being inside and out. And it's time for you to realize that and understand that all things are created equal. No one is better than you. No one is less than you. It's all about perception. You don't have to compare yourself. Stop comparing yourself and just be who you are. And yeah, it's not easy. I was who I was when I was younger and I got made fun of for it, you know, and that was some things that I had to heal from. And, and you know, that's why we do have the healing of the heart because some people are not going to accept you for who you are. And that's fine. You, As long as you accept yourself, you can let go of that and just send them off with love and compassion and be like, you know what, you're not meant to be in my life. That's fine. The right people will come towards you. Okay? But it's your girl, Drea, and this is The Owl's Intuition. I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I love you guys. I'm sending you so much love. Go with the flow, baby. Bye. Hello, pal number four. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your girl, Drea, and this is The Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button down below. And give me a little thumbs up if this resonates. You know what I'm saying? And, um... 
leave a little comment if you want to have a little chat for whatever reason I don't know I don't even know why this accent just came out I like you guys you guys are funny for whatever reason I don't know but I think you're funny and if you're not you should watch some comedy or watch some some videos maybe you need some happiness in your life <clears throat> whoa throat chakra hello okay. all right so you guys know this is about what have you been in denial about we got a self-care card and a light workers oracle that we're gonna close out this reading with and I have three significators significators whatever to um, help me figure out what you guys have been in denial about obviously take what resonates and leave what doesn't if this is not your message either click a different pile or watch a different video or find a different reader you know you know you know if you know you know no, there's something you don't know because you've been in denial about it. Anyway, all right. It is what it is, baby. Are we focusing? You have to focus. I need you to focus, baby. Okay. Maybe you've been in denial of an opportunity that is honestly beautiful. And it's kind of been your wishes fulfillment. It's like a, a wish fulfillment for you. But it's... The thing is, I feel like it's not the way that you expected it to be. And you kind of have to accept that it is what it is. That's what you wanted. It's just not in the package with the bow on top that you wanted. It's not specifically what you wanted. But I'm going to read the book for this one. Yeah, I'm gonna read the book and then. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna read the book and then we'll get into the other cards. You guys are different. I did it different for you guys. Anyway, radical acceptance, engaging life on life's terms, observing circumstances and taking them at face value, recognizing and <laughs> releasing resistance and denial. <laughs> How fitting, isn't it? Okay. What happens when you look at the world? Can you see it exactly as it is or only as you assume it to be? A door closing isn't an invitation to take a battering ram to it. What if there were another door to lead you to your destiny? If you can release your attachment to getting what you want, you'll be surprised by how much energy you have for more important things. Liberated from the burden of yearning, You'll have access to what's best for all. Can you now try to accept things as they are and shift your focus and attention until the other door opens up for you? Radically accept life's, life on life's terms. When you stop fighting against it and instead, instead fight for what you truly desire, more of the world becomes available to you. When you are no longer in denial about what is right in front of you, you will be empowered and make necessary changes with respect to yourself, your attitude, and your choices. The irony is that real transformation can happen once you surrender to the idea that things are exactly as they are meant to be. If you take a step back with clarity and acceptance, you will realize that life is offering you something magical. Mm -hmm. Even if circumstances send you a temporary detour, you will discover treasure beyond your imagination, a new way to embrace the world. Keep this prayer in your mind. Okay? Keep this prayer in your mind. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I know you guys heard that before, right? I know I have. Okay, hold on. I don't want to put this away because there was literally, yeah, the door with the battering ram. So there is an opportunity, right, that is 
there you can't see it because you're too focused on the closed doors you're too focused on opportunities that you feel like that's what you wanted you know when it comes to manifestation we can't really focus on really this exact thing like I want to manifest this person everybody has free will right so you can't exactly manifest a person what you need to focus is on the feeling you want to manifest like I want like say I want to be I want to be a, have a million dollars no I want to be financially stable I want to be financially free I want financial freedom I want a person who makes me feel loved. I want a person who speaks my love language. I want a person who, who is going to treat me and make me happy. You know, I don't, you, there's, you can't be specific, you know, because the universe, you can try to be specific, you know, and you might manifest it, but sometimes you manifest it and then that's not really what you want, right? You thought you wanted it, you thought you wanted to date that person, you thought you wanted that car, you thought you wanted that house, you thought you wanted that job, and then you got it. And then you're like, damn, I thought this was going to feel better. Nope. <laughs> uh, that's one thing I've realized, you know, I've dabbled in manifestation for years, you know, and first of all, surrendering. Stop. You you think about what you want, and you let it go to the universe, and just trust that whatever is meant to come for your highest good is gonna come. That's what you have to instill out there. Say those words. Whatever for my highest good is manifesting for me in regards to my job and career, my love life, whatever it works, whatever it is you're trying to manifest, okay? Because there's something that you need to accept that it is what it is okay dilettante what dali dilettante yeah dilettante okay <laughs> i don't know how to pronounce it okay interesting she's doing a lot a lot Delights in the arts without having to be a professional alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits. So, there's things that you want. Maybe you want things because, you know, you feel like it'll make you feel better. No, you have to find things that don't... You have to focus on the feeling and making yourself feeling good. Because you desiring things makes you feel like you lack. You don't lack anything. What you really need to focus on is being happy in the moment, now, having fun with life, and, you know, understanding that even if that thing doesn't come to you, that means that something better is coming, you know? I don't know if this is making sense. I said something, and then I kind of got lost in my my movements, my, my words. <laughs> but what I really mean is, like, when you're trying to manifest something... You think about you what, what you want, right? You think about how it's going to make you feel when you get it. And then you feel as if you already have it because you know that it's coming to you. And then you feel it. And then, you know, that's how visualization works. Because the feeling is really the secret at the end of the day, you know? And what you really want to do is focus on how you're going to feel. How you're going to feel. How you're going to feel. What the fuck? There's also a need for you to get creative, but also slow down. Slow down. I just want to get to know you. No, but you need to slow down because you're doing too much. Focus on one task at a time. You need to focus on one task at a time because... And you might need to delegate to people, you know? Because you have things that you want to do. Maybe you want to start a business and stuff like that. Or maybe you want this or want that. Whatever it is. You're doing too much. Calm down. Accept everything is the way it's supposed to be, okay? You'll be able to take care of everything when it comes to you. Like, instead of stressing about, like, what's going to happen? Oh, my God, I don't know what's going to happen. Blah, blah, blah. Worry about it when it presents itself. Ooh, ooh, mm, yummy. Anyway, worry about it when it presents itself to you. Yeah, mental strength. 
You need to get grounded in the present moment and stop letting your mind control you. Your mind is taking over and mm, it's no bueno, okay? Let's be real. You're doing too much. You're probably overthinking. And what you really need to do is accept everything for what it is, whatever has shed from your life, you know. It wasn't meant to be there. And you need to accept that better things are coming. I always think of it like rejection is divine protection. Remember. Remember that. Okay? Those words will live on forever. I heard that once and I was like, legit. I use that in order for me to get over those doors closing or those people leaving my life or whatever it is. Because that's going to happen for you for the rest of your life. There's levels. I've come to realize that there's people that and things and situations that come into your life for that season and they serve their purpose and then they shut away. It's like a wave. Some people are there forever. Some things are there forever. But the only thing that really leaves, I mean, that doesn't really leave is you. You know? The fairies. We're going to use the fairies today. Okay. You guys are wise, okay? You guys are wise souls, and you already know. You probably manifested a lot of things in your life, and you're pretty abundant, but right now it's like you got to understand that certain things are not going to come into your life because there's something better on the way and you lack nothing. It's just time for you to set those intentions, trust the universe, and let it go. Okay? So what's good? What else do we need to know from pound number four? Life energy. Beautiful. This is like the sun card for me in this. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. So yeah, so maybe these doors closing or these situations happening, you need to heal from it, you know? And you may have been trying to not focus on it, um, either by overthinking or, you know, doing too much. Like I was saying earlier, you, you have been, you know... Trying to drown out your thoughts and your emotions instead of feeling them and healing them and letting them go. Understand that your feelings are valid, they are what they are, but in order to move on and create a better life and get your life energy back up and your vibration back high, you need to what was I even talking about? <laughs> Let go. Well, no, you need to assess those, those thoughts and those emotions. Take care of them. Acknowledge them. But understand that they don't make you who you are. You are the consciousness that hears those thoughts. And then, you, you know, you're the consciousness that feels those emotions that are triggered by those thoughts your emotional body which then will thus trigger pain sometimes in your body so which is why you need to take care of those emotions and those thoughts immediately because if not you will start to feel physical pain disease is disease and what causes disease your mind your mental state you need to be mentally strong right right now right now okay it's time for you to not let you know your past and things that have left control you time to find peace and start loving yourself okay and ask for help from your angels you guys are probably seeing a lot of feathers too very interesting you guys need to clear your energy and you need to dive deep into your heart and your soul and see what is down there because there's things that need to be revealed that light again Something needs to be revealed in the shadows. Your shadow. Shadow work. Hello. The worst. I know. But you got to do it because after the shadow work, you feel it's just, it takes time, yes. But you will, you will start to see changes. Ask for help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies 
Say now it is time to ask for angelic help. You have help. Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, whatever Archangel resonates with you, they are here for you. They will help you. Communicate to them. Ask them for help. If you feel low, I just heard the song. God, I'm feeling low. So you don't know. You feel low. You don't know what to do. And you want to get yourself back up. So you've been, you know, because you've been losing hope. So you need to ask for help. You know, instead of trying to distract yourself from your emotions, you need to face them head on, heal from them so you can move on from your past and accept the new beginnings that are meant to be in your life. Believe in magic. Do you believe in magic? Beautiful. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around you in nature. You need to go into nature. Because nature helps you to open up your heart, okay? The Fairy of the Northern Lights says you are a part of nature and you are magical too. You know, sometimes nature is amazing and it does magical things, but you really need to believe in magic because unexplainable things will happen to you. Miracles will happen if you believe. You need to believe that it's possible. Anything is possible if you believe and you have faith. Yeah, certain things left. It is what it is, though, you know? You let it go and move on and understand that there's a deeper meaning that you don't understand at that moment. But in the future, you will understand why that had to happen. Because I know that's happened to me. I've had situations where people leave and I never thought that they would ever leave my life and now I understand exactly why it happened the way it happened or why they had to leave or whatever it is, you know, the case may be. We got hidden deaths. Something needs to come to light, okay? Or something is going to come to light. Hidden depths. Mm -hmm. And you also need to dive into your hidden depths of your heart chakra because it is closed. And what was we talking about manifestation with you guys, right? I was talking about manifestation with you. First of all, in order to manifest, you do need to believe that it's possible because all things are possible and you are a limitless being. But you also need to have your heart chakra open in order to receive. If your heart chakra is not open, you're not going to be able to receive. And if you don't start receiving, you're not going to believe that it's possible. But you need to believe before you receive. If that makes sense. I don't know. Um, something hidden is about to come to light. Perhaps a secret or a memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. So there's things that you might not even be aware of that you are still holding within your energy field that is causing you to stay in a low vibration, which is probably not helping with um, your mental health and probably something that you need to close out and it's not, you know... It's not something that, it's something from your past. It's something that you're holding on to. You might feel guilty right now. Um, and guilt really does lower your vibration. But you have to forgive yourself and understand that whatever it is that happened or whatever, it's gonna be different for everybody. You have to, let it go. You have to understand that you were doing the best that you could at that time or whoever that person was, they were doing the best that they could. But something is going to come to light and then you're going to see. It could be like how powerful of a manifest you are because you're going to ask for help and then the angels are going to come through and help you and then you're going to see the magic even though you should already believe. But I feel like that that's what's going to happen. We have find balance. You guys need to journal. Every time I see this card, you need to journal, baby. It'll help you. It will help you. Some of you guys can do magic as well. You know? I see crystals. I see a watch. Guess what? Where is it? Divine timing is at play, baby. You know how I feel about divine timing. Shit. That shy says annoying, but I've come to accept it. Somewhat. 
<laughs> anyway, no, I really, I've gotten better with it. And it, it, and it takes time and it takes practice, you know, to accepting the fact that some things are not going to come when you want them or they're not going to come in the package that you expected. But then after you're going to realize like, oh, this is actually better than what I wanted. You know, <clears throat> like I said earlier in the beginning. Maybe there's a secret that you need to let go of and talk about <clears throat> in order to free yourself because it's causing you mental anguish. And then that's going to help you let go. And the person will forgive you. And if they don't, move on. It's okay. It is what it is. Um, yeah, that was for somebody. But anyway, find balance. Find the balance between your work, rest, and playtime, and you will have more energy. We have energy again. You guys are feeling drained, huh? More energy, harmony, and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. It's okay to take naps, baby. I love naps, okay? Take a nap if you have a chance. Naps really do help, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, back in the day, I wouldn't sleep, right? I will go to sleep late, and then I would have to wake up early. I will get my shit done. In between, take a little quick hour nap. It's like I'm a new mother sucker, okay? <laughs> That's how I survived. It's a little different now. You guys do need to go out too. Go outside. You gotta go outside. You gotta, you know, put yourself out there. Focus on what makes you happy. And really focus on balance. You've been overwhelmed. Maybe you need to go outside and go to a party, spend some time with some friends, and, um, stop overworking yourself again what was i saying earlier because she was doing too much you know enjoy life enjoy the present moment but don't use those friends to distract you from the healing that needs to be done from the shadow work that needs to be done which you do need to take breaks don't get me wrong breaks are necessary um but it's just about doing it intervals again finding balance in the healing process finding balance in your work life finding balance it's hard to balance all of that it, which is why we have to create habits like okay i'm gonna do an hour of shadow work once a week that one hour of shadow work once a week you'll be a whole different person by the end of the month instead of doing six hours of shadow work or a full day of shadow work and that will really deplete you because shadow work's not easy healing isn't easy it takes a lot of energy out of you and right now you are definitely depleted because I have energy twice. Or was it three times? Does it matter? Anyway. Tarot. Wow. We're going to use the psychic tarot for you guys. You guys are my psychics too. Hello, my intuitives. We got the third eye. Alright, let me stop. No, nah, but you guys are definitely intuitive and you guys already know that you do need to heal because you probably have a lot of things that happen to you and then you can help others heal, you know? But, and you're going to come together with your soul tribe and your soul family. That's what it is. You're letting go of people so you can discover your soul family and your soul tribe and your soul mates. Okay? Trust that the right people and situations will come to you. Okay? So any information that you need to tell a source? Thank you. I need you to tell me what you need. Okay, we have the Hierophant. Wisdom, baby. Five, change, okay? So, it's a lot. Maybe you need to start reading. Does your name start with a J? If it does, what up, yo? Jillian. No, I'm just kidding. Imagine there's a Jillian watching this. If you are, comment down below. Do you have a bowl cut? <laughs> Did you have a bowl cut as a child? Anyway. Um. Yeah. You have to balance everything. Because you are meant to teach people. Star seed, light worker, or you know what I'm saying? You have a higher purpose. You are not the usual. Okay? You're mental, you're probably an air sign or you have air in your chart that's prominent. 
um, but you do need to study, you need to learn, you need to write, you need to like get your mental in check so that you can, you know, focus on your work, but also focus on having fun. And then, you know, some of you guys may, you know, create a family. And if you do have a family already, it's about, you know, focusing on balancing, spending time with your family when you can, you know, keeping everyone's love tank full. Some of you guys might have a dog too, a companion, you need a companion and you will find someone. If you just lost someone, know that your companion, your person, your partner, your, your other half or whoever it may be, somebody is going to come. Okay. We have destiny. Beautiful. The wheel is turning in your favor once you open up your heart chakra. Once you peel back those layers of your shadow and start opening your heart chakra and closing out those cycles, that's going to help you. Okay? Diving into those hidden depths. Wow. You're going to close a lot of cycles. You're going to you're going through a big transformation, a big transition, you know what I'm saying? We got two major arcana already. Three major arcana, we got the shadow, which is the moon. <sighs> and what I say, shadow work, right? Dark light, yin yang. Don't let the fear steer you away from your true destiny. Some of you guys are meant to be teachers. Some of you guys are meant to be like instructors or you're supposed to, you know, help people, guide people, enlighten people. And to do that, you're going to have to keep yourself in tip top shape, which means you have to find balance in your life and you have to get your energy up. Because how can you create? How can you study? How can you promote? And how can you create a business? Or how can you put yourself out there and become the leader that you know you are? How can you create um, a firm foundation in regards to maybe an institution or something like that that you want to make or create or put out? I don't know. It's going to be different for everyone. Okay, understand that everyone has a dark side, hence the demon voice, and you have to accept that, hidden depths, you know, and sometimes you have to accept that, but also there's times that you can change it, and if you don't change it, you get a disruption, aka tower moment, you can't keep your heart closed and be this grouchy little man, it's not little, but you can't be this grouchy person. You have to open up your heart. Open up your heart to healing or else you won't receive. I'm literally saying the same shit over again. Close out those cycles. Heal. Focus on learning. Focus on building. Focus on your abundance. Focus on that heart chakra again. Uh, embracing your divine feminine. Getting into nature too, definitely. And getting grounded. The balance is needed. You need to start changing and focusing on the change. Let go of what's not and understand that it's okay. Stand your ground. Only fight for what matters to you, okay? If somebody wants to walk out of your life, let them. And if, you know, they're meant to come back, they will. Like that song Circles. If you love some, let it go. And if it comes back, then that's how you know. I got to the stoplight that I made for rights. Alright, anyway. Now I'm back where I'm started and you're back in my life. Somebody might be coming back and it, you need to really use your discernment. <laughs> Look at this. You need to use your discernment because they might be deceptive. And if they come back, make sure that they have their mask off. Or maybe they're gonna come back. Somebody might come back and take their mask off. Regardless, you need to be patient with yourself and you need to focus on balance and blending all of your essence, every aspect of your life together so that it flows and trusting in that flow. And letting go of the boulders and the rocks that are blocking that flow. And when I say let go, I mean going around it. Because water doesn't push through the rock. It just goes around it. There's, again, detours, right? D 
detours. Detours will happen. Things will happen. Changes, sudden changes will happen. And just remember that it has a purpose. It has a purpose to take out whatever deceptive and envious people and people who are not for your highest good, who are blocking you from stepping into your true power and your true essence, blocking you from that. And they don't want you to have a firm foundation. So you do need to stand your ground and stand in your power and understand who the fudge you really are. Oof, this is intense. Anyway, we got a self-care card. Why am I not surprised? And light workers. You guys are light workers. I'm past my star seeds, my earth angels. What's up, guys? Welcome to the gang. Anyway, sorry if that was cringy. You might be seeing 333 as well. Or 777. Yeah, definitely 333 three, three and 777. Um, and 555. Because <laughs> change is coming, baby. But anyway, your self-care card is look for fairies. In this card, it means look for the magic. Like I was saying earlier, and your card literally says it, believe in magic. It's saying believe in the unknown. Believe that anything is possible and accept the fact that transformation and change has to come and go into nature as well. But like understanding that you can't see the fairies and you can talk to the fairies and I literally you guys are connected to the fairies because I'm literally using the fairies oracle deck so you guys might want to do some research in regards to fairies or you already know that you're connected to the fairies which is pretty dope which is probably why you love nature and love going into nature and you guys are bubbly and amazing literally go outside okay guys but um you know and you're high energy but right now you've been going through some shit so you've been a little low because you need to heal but believing in the impossible looking for fairies looking for signs and synchronicities they will be everywhere what was I saying earlier about the feathers right the numbers the synchronicities you guys are going through a spiritual awakening or you already are in the spiritual awakening which is why you're seeing so many things and be aware of songs be aware of TV shows be aware of conversations when you're walking down the street your angels and your ancestors and your guys and your fairies because you're connected to the fairies I feel um, then they will communicate to those things or if you see a random bird or like you know just if you feel called to look up certain symbolism because it's a message that they're trying to send to you or it might be a message that you can only interpret yourself maybe through your dreams and stuff like that they may be communicating we have spiritual service okay look at literally earth angel literally earth angel called it all right yeah 21 baby 21 21 21 21 21 who's 21 you 21 no i'm just kidding 21 savage be a savage i'm a savage <laughs> all right anyway self-doubt can be a habit that is hard to break Ooh. Yeah, because you don't believe. There's a lot of doubt. Your mind is deceiving you. That's what it is. Your mind is deceiving you. And you may have soaked up a lot of like beliefs from everything around you and outside of you. And you really need to re readjust and relearn things. And relearn from your past. Use that wisdom and apply it to how you live now. It can slow down your spiritual progress and the fulfillment of your life purpose. Valid. You might have watched another pile, and if so, you might have watched pile, or might need to watch pile three, I think. Anyway, ultimately, it won't stop you. But it can make your progress seem more challenging. It's easier to fulfill your purpose when you acknowledge your own goodness and talent and do what you love to the best of your ability. Realize that you are enough and that your work is good and that you have something of value to offer. It is time to let go of the fear of failure, concern about your ability, and your right to live a happy life, a happy and fulfilled life. What? Concern about your ability and your right to live a happy and fulfilled life of success. The universe believes in you and, you know, it's time for you to believe in yourself. Literally, belief, belief, belief. When you believe, you can like, you can achieve. Okay, 
you just have to believe and then the achievements come right but it's your girl Drea focus on believing in the impossible because you have a great big purpose of and you are so talented and so amazing and so beautiful and you need to embrace that divine feminine energy in you whether you're masculine or not we're talking about energies okay but i hope you guys have an amazing day night or whatever and i'll see you guys on the next one bye